What's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video. <laughs> Today we're playing Agree to Disagree. I have a few questions drawn, not drawn up, written up. She's currently making the boxes in which she's gonna write the words. Strongly agree, agree, disagree, or strongly disagree. I tried to pick the questions that I thought would be most conversational because I feel like- <laughs> You mean controversial? What? Did you mean to say controversial? What did I say? I just blame Conversational. Out. I'm pretty sure that's what you said. What? Play back the tape. The questions that I thought would be most conversational. I definitely, I meant to say conversational. Like I was saying, I purposely chose the questions that would. I'm getting a phone call. It's currently my birthday in Florida. It's midnight. So give me one second. Happy 21st birthday! <laughs> Thank you, Lourdes. Thank you. How do you feel? Hi, DNA. Hola. We're currently in the middle of trying to make a video. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> Oops. This is my little sister, hey. Lourdes. Hello. Well, that phone call ran a bit long. It actually lasted like a little bit over an hour. <laughs> Thank you anyways, Lily, for calling me, saying happy birthday. Oh, also check it out, DNA painted. Why do I keep saying that? She sharpied some hearts, uh, a rainbow heart on my fingernails. I'm not one of the people that likes doing this, so. I've always wanted to like get him to just paint like a pinky to no. like match mine or like no. something, but he's against it. Nope. Even though it's not even that bad. It's horrible. So many guys do it. I don't even, it. this is a crime. I don't like this, but. You wouldn't want my first initial on your finger? No, I'd sooner get a tattoo on my ass about it. If this is your first time watching one of our videos, hi, it's nice to meet you. I'm Felipe, the birthday boy, and this is my beautiful wife, VNA. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications as well, and everybody, go ahead and smash the like button. Let's start with some questions. Round yes. one. <laughs> I like the, the girls in the fight. <laughs> yeah, the ring girls yeah. walk around. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Are soulmates real? See, here's the thing. What's the definition of, like, a soulmate? Like, what really defines soulmates? My like definition that? of a soulmate is there is literally one person that is perfect for you in this world. I disagree. That's hard. I'm, like, in between agree and disagree. Because, like, I'm, I don't believe in, like, all that spiritual stuff. Like, I'm not a spiritual girly, really. But then at the same time, like, does our situation not kind of go into that? Because, like, we had our thing. We both went our different ways, and then somehow we still ended up back to where we are now. So, well, like, this was meant of, to happen. That's kind of more of, like, if it's meant to be, it'll be. But is that not, like, in the same soulmate thing? I'm kind of in the middle, but I'm going to err more on the side of disagree, because above all else, I think that there are multiple people in this world. If you work hard enough, a relationship will work. Yeah, I guess. Maybe there is one perfect person, but I'm not ruling out the fact that there is also some other random person in this world of which you and I can't also put the effort to make that work. Yeah, I can see that. I agree that it's possible, but I also disagree that it's not the only way in which you're going to end up in a long-term relationship. Yeah, I guess. I'll go with disagree then. I put my foot there. Okay. All right, question number two. We got married too soon. I don't want to go strongly just because, yeah. Why strongly? I don't know. I feel like we just, as rushed as it was, at the same time, like, we really did think about everything. Because if you think about it, like, if we got married at the time that we originally planned, like, who knows how things could have gone. I kind of have the same reasonings, but speaking in a general sense, the age at which we got married isn't a very popular age to get married. Unless you're in the military, then it is very popular. Well, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. in like a general sense, In it's a general not sense, it's all. not the most popular age. And the fact that you started off your reasoning with, even though it was rushed. But like it was, but it wasn't. I mean, for us, the like, time- Like time wise, it was in a very small time frame, but like we yeah, had talked but, a lot yeah. about the whole thing. Exactly. So in, in, a, in the grand scheme of things, it was kind of rushed, but like for us personally, when we 
went over the conversations and you know hashed everything out we felt like the timing was right was right for us personally yeah i had i'd say i disagree then probably in a more general term next question round three couples do not need the same interests to be compatible Ooh. I agree. I disagreed. I forgot who. Because by that logic, then you and I are not compatible in like at least seventy percent of things. Like what? The only difference is like your nerdy stuff. Yes, and if like I ask you to skate, thing. if I ask you to skateboard, you're gonna be like, "No, I broke my arm." Yeah, but that's just because of I broke my arm, not because I didn't enjoy it or like wouldn't want to enjoy it with you. That's just because I'm terrified to get on a skateboard again. <laughs> It's just your nerdy stuff. I wouldn't say, like, I have a problem with it to where it makes a difference in our relationship. Like, I can tolerate it, but... I was having this conversation with somebody at work. We were talking about this. And I say disagree for this reason, because if you don't have those things, then it's like one person is doing one thing. You want your partner to be able to at least, like, be involved, support well, yeah, whatever that is. Otherwise, it causes, like... Kind of why I put agree. You have to have a level of open-mindedness to be able to participate in stuff. You don't need to like Star Wars. You've made it very, very clear that you <laughs> don't like Star Wars. But there's a level of open-mindedness which has made you tolerate it. And I don't like watching every season of Grey's Anatomy. Or I don't like watching fucking the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders getting picked <laughs> for a team. I also believe in, in the whole like opposites attract thing. Hobbies and shit like that. You have to have an open-mindedness to kind of maybe join in on the other person's hobby or tolerate it, whatever, whatever you want to call it. And it also brings another level to the relationship in which you guys can share stuff. Like, I agree with you, but then I'm just kind of, I think I'm thinking of like, because there's definitely people in relationships where I feel like you don't have things in common. You don't get to enjoy doing things together because this person wants to do this and the other person does that. Yeah, but then at that point, that's just, that's just both of those people being a dickhead. That's why I'm saying you're going to disagree on some interest or hobby or whatever it is but as long as you're open-minded and you have a positive attitude about shit i feel like you can it can happen and everybody has a good time i'll stand with what i say i don't know where that falls on the board <laughs> <laughs> i feel like i'm right in the middle i i agree or with, with what like saying. music taste you and i definitely don't have the music taste but i will sit there and enjoy your music because i'm open-minded to it and i don't know how you feel about my music but as long as there's an open-mindedness, <laughs> you can have a good time. Oh yeah, I've definitely learned to tolerate your stuff. Do you keep saying tolerate? I don't think you genuinely like anything I like. <laughs> well yeah, I feel like that's just what you're supposed to do in a relationship. Which is why I agree. <laughs> okay, then maybe I go and agree. <laughs> Next question! A relationship only becomes exclusive once the other asks you to be their partner. <laughs> Did you even ask me? When we first made it official, well, official, well, I told you. I most certainly asked at some point whether I was accepted or rejected. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you were rejected the first time, buddy. Look, those details don't matter. But at some point in time, I did ask. Okay, yeah, you did. I, and then at some other point in time, whether it was sooner or later, <laughs> I got a yes. So that's all I'm worried about. I know where you're going to land. Boom! I have a very, very strong stance on this. Yeah. <laughs> I hate... I hate with a passion the way that modern dating goes. Yeah, I almost want to just put it in strongly agree because I already know where he falls about this whole thing. Well, you can't just go along with and my opinion. I just... Have your own opinion. Be well, original. Shut up. I would just go and agree, but I'm fine. I'll just say it agree. What's your reasoning? <laughs> well, like you just said, like in these times, it's it's not very common that people are being like formally asked. It's just kind of assumed because you guys are talking or whatever. That's the term that I hate. Yeah, talking. that's why I said that. On that's purpose. my biggest pet peeve. <laughs> when people say talking, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? What is that? That's so stupid. Are you in it or are you not? What's a situationship? What's all this fucking like? All these little terms. Like, are you in it or are you not? It's like the beginning stage of things. Then there's there's like it's not common where there's like that point after the whole beginning stage of like okay we're doing this for real now like now we're boyfriend girlfriend officially it just kind of like no nah, that goes stupid. into it without discussing it if you can't tell already i'm more of the traditional side where you find interest you make that interest known and then you get it popping not that hard i don't know why people find interest 
then you start playing the game, get into this talking situationship, sneaky leg bullshit. Like, bro, you're either in there or you're not. And then people start running around behind each other's backs. And, uh, it just gets messy. It, it's, it's honestly, it's bullshit. You either gotta ask the question and you're in it or you're not. It's that simple. Stop talking and just start doing each other. Anyways, next question. <laughs> Cheating is unforgivable. What? Why are you? Why are you so slow? What's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm thinking. <laughs> what is there to think about? There is no excuse. No, yeah, okay. I'll say strongly agree. I think because I was getting too much into my head of like how I used to think before. Definitely strongly agree. It is unforgivable. There is zero excuse for it. I don't care how shitty this. I, your partner could be the worst. They could have cheated on you first. If they're the worst, be like, hey, you're the worst. Goodbye, and then go fuck off and do your own thing. And if they cheated first, there's no reason for you to stoop down to their level, their garbage pitiful level, and join them in the in the garbage pitiful club. There's no reason for that because not only are they a dickhead, you're now a dickhead too. So now you're just two dickheads and quite honestly at that point you just deserve each other. If you're in a situation where you feel like you're going to cheat or you want to cheat, just leave, just leave. So you don't have to deal with the bullshit of, oh, you cheated, ah, oh, I cheated, ah, ah, Like, there's, just leave, just leave. If the relationship isn't going well, just leave. There's no reason to cause more bullshit. Don't be a garbage person. I think enough was said for that. <laughs> well, that's all of our questions. Thank you guys for watching. Let us know any of your opinions, if you have on any, on any of the questions, whether you agree, disagree strongly. Maybe I might respond to some of you guys. Maybe we could start a heated debate. I love debating when it comes to couples things. Especially against people nowadays. Oh god, I hate people nowadays and their ideas of relationships and shit. It's just not. It's bullshit. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already and you're new, please hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications. Smash that like button. Just do it. Please and thank you. It's my birthday, so you kind of have to. We'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Okay. Love you guys. <laughs> the times you. I just want to draw a little picture. Why? Let me draw. Baby. I want to draw one, one little picture. Face. I want to draw one picture. What picture are you going to draw? The fucking Mona Lisa? Yeah. <laughs> I doubt it. This is why you don't love me. Shut up. <laughs> How are you going to have enough space to draw the Mona Lisa on my face?